All right, now let's try a problem here. And in this particular problem, we've got two loudspeakers and we're actually standing somewhere in between the speakers. And I ask you, how loud are these combined speakers? All right, so each speaker is putting out 70 decibels of sound. And if we add them together, the obvious answer here would be 70 decibels plus 70 decibels equals 140 decibels. Incorrect. All right, now, we've got to remember that the log scale, the decibel scale, is a log scale. If we add logs, we're actually multiplying them. So this is incorrect. All right, so in this particular problem, we've got to convert the 70 decibels into watts per meter squared, which is the non-log version of what it sounds like. So we know from our previous problem that 1 times 10 to the minus 12th uh, excuse me, 1 times 10 to the minus 5th watts per meter squared are the same thing as 70 decibels. And this speaker over here is 1 times 10 to the minus 5th watts per meter squared. Alright, now, if I take these, the non-log values, I can actually indeed measure them. So the total intensity is going to be the sum of those. So it's going to be 2 times 1 times 10 to the minus 5th watts per meter squared. And of course that's going to be equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 5th watts per meter squared. Now, my question is this, how loud does it sound in decibels? Well, now that I've got it in the form of the watts per meter squared, do I have a formula that allows me to convert it into decibels? And the answer is sure I can. So beta, the amount of decibels, is going to be equal to 10 log all right, our intensity is 2 times 10 to the minus 5th watts per meter squared. And then that's divided by the reference level for you know, a human, 10 times 10, uh, 10 to the minus 12th watts per meter squared. And then that will give us our final answer in the decibel system. So I'll leave for you that to punch it in your calculator. And the answer is not 140. 140 is so loud, uh, you know, it would be just unbelievable. So when we get our answer here, you know, it's going to be in the range of maybe like 75 or something along those lines. So calculate it through, see what you get, and then watch out. Don't add logs. You've got to use, using the decimal system, you've got to convert it back into its linear version, and then you can actually add them up. So be careful. Sometimes that can be a little tricky.